Alright, so we're out here in the middle of a field with the P1B1 Sky Voyager. Uh, I've not done any, this, what you're going to see are the very first flights with this airplane. So what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll just go through the process of flying it and uh, show you how to do that. Alright, so I've got the airplane in my hand here. I've just kind of positioned the wing in the middle of the fuselage. Put a lead weight on the, or steel weight on the nose from the kit. And we give it a test glide. And the glide looks good. It is going to the right. Um, and let's take a look at something here. This one really looks like it may have a little bit of left thrust built in. We're going to give it a few. Um, we'll give it one more test glide and we'll kind of evaluate that. So glide again. Looks very nice and the plane runs into my stuff. I have not uh, weeds. I've not mowed bush hog, etc. lately. Probably need to do something about that. So, what we'll do is we'll hand wind this airplane back up. I'll show you again how I do that. And then we'll give it its, its first um, powered flight. Alright, so we are ready to wind it up. So, I'm just going to hold the thrust plate in place here. Push this forward. And now I'm just cranking away. Now, I should be using a winder and winding it up, but a lot of you are new to free flight and you don't have a winder, so this is kind of what you do. And I'm going to crank in, I don't know, 30 or 40 turns, and we'll see how that goes. So, I got enough to do decently here. And what I'm going to do is press it back and lock it like that. I can pull it forward and it'll turn freely. I'm going to push it back into its little hole, and now it's locked. And now I will lift you guys off of the tripod here, turn my viewfinder around, and what I'm doing here is, I know you're being bounced around, I'm doing this intentionally though, because I want you all to sh see if I can do it one-handed, I think you all can figure out how to do this two-handed. So, yeah. There we go. Sorry. This is hard to do to one-handed. I will not deny that. But, there you go. And the airplane is taking off in a left turn at first, and then going to the right, and gliding magnificently. Okay, so... We, uh, we got a flight going, we saw the airplane drifted off to, to the right a little bit, and then to the left. Now, the manufacturer, uh, because he flies competitively, um, he is going to tell you to trim this airplane to fly in right circles under power, and maybe to the left in the glide. Because most of you do not fly competitively and have no idea how to trim a rubber-powered airplane, rather than go through the process of doing it the correct way, I'm going to give you the easy way. The easy way is we're going to make the airplane fly in left-hand circles, period. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rudder tab right here, and I'm going to bend it. Oh, sorry. Off. Here we go. And I'm going to bend in some left rudder. And this way, your airplane will tend to stay on your soccer field or whatever you're flying it on, because I know most of you guys are not going to actual free flight meets. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to wind the airplane up a little bit more than we did last time. So I'm going to pull this nose out, and I'm going to crank in a few turns. I'm not counting. Y'all can count if you want to. I ain't got time for that. And again, this is the stock rubber. Not There are no tricks here. And now the rubber motor has got enough tension. I'm kind of holding steady here. So I don't have to... Eh, what did I do wrong? So I don't have to hold on to the front there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to toss this and I'll come back and grab you guys and let you all take a look at the flight. We'll shift the viewfinder around. Alright, 
and you can see the plane is circling around in a nice steady left hand turn click 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 come on there we go and now we've got our left turn going in our glide and circles on round and okay so we're circling a little tightly in the glide so I'm gonna relax my rudder trim just a just a hair just a smidge still got about that much in there um, you know you if, if you've never flown a rubber powered airplane before uh, frankly be content with that I mean you're you're getting some pretty sweet uh, if you have a nice warm day the the flight trim you just saw uh, honestly the number of turns you just saw on a call on a nice warm day is enough that you could launch this catch it in a thermal and wave goodbye to it directly overhead uh, as several of my customers have related to me. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're just going to crank this guy up again and we'll let you see another flight. The uh, trim is pretty well set on this airplane. That's one of the things I like about these is they fly pretty well right off the board um, and really all you're doing is just tuning the uh, the circle to, to keep the airplane from just running off in a straight line. Again, I have not played with the tail settings at all other than the horizontal tail. Uh, I've not shifted the wing around, haven't played with stab tilt, we're just making the airplane go. And what I'm doing right now is just hand cranking in a bunch of turns. Now one thing you can do to kind of loosen up the strain on that motor is pull it out like that and then you can crank in a few more turns. So This should be enough to get up a real nice, pretty flight. So, what I will do for you guys is kind of point y'all up like that. Come out here. And there's the airplane. Um, I may have made a mistake. I may have made a grave mistake. Not sure what I did there, but uh, yeah, she's circling the other way. Now she's gliding. Back in the left-hand circle. And... Boink. Okay, so I'm pretty sure my mistake was not checking my wing alignment. So, we'll shift it back that way. Now it should circle to the left. I did bend the... Uh, rudder tap back over a little more is I don't want to go tromping off in Egypt land again looking for my lost plane because it did leave my property it was actually over on the next uh, plot of land over in place I don't care to go because don't know what critters are over there and y'all city slicking folks have no idea what I'm talking about more than likely we do have snakes and stuff all right so we got this thing cranked up pretty good so I'll lift y'all up at the sky so you can at least get a hint of my launch and I did something wrong I didn't I thought I wound that up better than that oh well this is going clickety click already. But you'll get a decent flight. If I don't get it stuck in another tree. There we go. In a nice glide. I think it's gliding a little nose heavy. Um, that's not bad for getting started. And never mind my shed that's all tore up. So. Alright, so we'll toss this up there once more. Uh, I gave it a, I bent um, the uh, s trailing edge of the stab up a little bit. And we're straightening out a little bit. That part's annoying. There we go.
but the glide is definitely a lot nicer now. And thunk. All right, so I got greedy and broke the rubber motor. So I replaced it with two loops of 1 8 Tan Super Sport. And now what we will do... Hey, Daddy. Hi, Caleb. I love you. Alright. Let me get this wound up. You will see a jump in performance. The uh, FAI rubber is better. Um, that's just the way it is. Like I said, the supplier for this airplane uh, cannot obtain that, so we get them. Uh, we're going to start making the, the rubber available for these, uh, so you don't have to go someplace else looking for it. And my son has a baseball. <laughs> kind of. It's a rubber baseball. Alright, let's get this guy flying here. If you notice, this rubber takes a lot more turns. It is, this is... That's simply because this is the best rubber in the world, literally. Um, and so you'll see a jump in performance here. This is the rubber that you lose the airplane on even in meh, dead conditions. So, we'll point the camera up here a little bit. an airplane circling high above. This should be a nice, nice long flight if I don't lose it in the trees. See, there's trees right there, and it's kind of drifting their direction. I don't know if that's going to clear or not. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Thunk. So this has uh, been the trimming video for the P1B1 Sky Voyager Model B. Um, I'm Joshua Finn, this is Caleb. Uh, any questions, comments on trimming airplanes, post them in the comments section below. There's a link in the description for, uh, for buying this airplane and for buying some replacement rubber for it. We we'll hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, let us know what you think and we'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.